Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Krista and for today's video, I'm taking you to Target to see what all they have for Christmas decor. I'm so excited because I've heard their selection this year is wonderful and as you'll see, they did not disappoint. Now, this will be my last shop with me before I begin decorating two houses for Christmas. I hope you'll join along and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos I have. Now, let's get shopping. Okay, so of course, when you first walk into Target, you have to check out Bullseye's Playground. Um, I didn't see anything that I was specifically looking for, but I do always check out this area just because there are such great prices and budget-friendly things. Um, but I was specifically looking for more of the home decor items from the Hearth and Hand brand. Um, so I was just trying to browse around here because I do not live very close to a Target. In fact, this one's almost an hour away. So I was trying to use my time very wisely. Now, of course, I thought the gingerbread man was adorable because in the kitchen, that's always my theme. Um, however, I didn't know what these were. Are they sponge holders, soap holders? I really didn't know, and if I don't have a specific place for it, I don't buy it. Um, however, I did have a specific place in mind for this little tree, so I grabbed one for me and one for my mom. Now you will see that gingerbread is in quite a few themes this year um, and they even put it on these note cards which I thought were so adorable um, and I'm very excited that gingerbread is back in style this year as I have been doing it for my kitchen theme for many many years so it's good to know that my kitchen is trending this year. Now speaking of trends, um, You'll have to let me know in the comments below, are you one that just jumps on the trends um, as soon as they come out, or are you more like me and you have to sit on it for a little while to see if you really enjoy it or if it's going to even stick around? Um, I personally don't like to just waste a whole bunch of money on things that I don't feel like are going to be around for a while. And also seeing new things, sometimes it just takes a while to sit in my mind before I actually like it. So you'll have to let me know in the comments. Also, I think because my personality can go so many different ways as far as styling, um, I really don't even know how to describe my style because it, there's just so many little pieces of everything and I kind of just morph them together and hope that it turns out for the best. Um, and you'll see that in my Christmas decor this year. Not so much for my mom's house, but definitely for my house. Um, I mostly pick things that I absolutely love in the store. However, like I said, it goes with many different styles. So I'm hoping it all comes together this year and you'll have to let me know if you like it or not. And we are finally back to the hearth and hand with Magnolia Collection. Guys, I am so excited about seeing this. I've heard great things about this this year. But before we get started, I would love to know, do you say hearth or hearth? I've heard it pronounced both ways, and I don't know if there's a correct way or an incorrect way, but I just wanted to know. Now look at these beautiful cookie stamps. They did not come home with me, but I feel like they would definitely add to your collection or when done correctly, I believe you could add them to like a hutch or even on your countertop for Christmas decor. 
Now, if you're like me, you love the Fair Isle print and the way they added this to these mugs and these canisters was absolutely beautiful and I love the texture and the deep red color of these. And if you watch my last video, you will know that skiing made its way into home decor a lot this year. This is a very big trend as well, um, and I'm seeing it here on these beautiful mugs. Now this is something that I have gone home and I have thought about and <laughs> I feel like I should have just purchased it because I do have the gingerbread theme. However, this is a beautiful twist on those classic gingerbread houses and I am just kicking myself for not getting it. Now this sign here I have seen for the past couple of years I believe, however I just feel like um, I, I don't have anywhere to put it so I don't get it. Now this beautiful bell garland, I bought two of them, one for my house and one for my mom's, and you will see very soon how I style it. Now I believe these stockings are placed here to make a statement, and they certainly do. They are well made and wonderfully priced, and I just love the clean print of them. Um, however, I'm not going with red, so I didn't come home with them. Now, this set of candles would make a wonderful teacher gift, just FYI. <laughs> Now I know I was on a mission to get home decor, however, I wanted to show you all just a quick overview of some of the hearth and hand toys this year. I really loved the camper and I felt like they had a little bit more than they normally do. Now I also loved these little placemats. I've never seen these before. You just They're disposable, you just tear them off. And I would have gotten one for each of my children had the pages been different, but they were all the same. So I felt like they would have kind of got bored with that each day. Um, like how I was wanting to use it. Now these potted Christmas trees were absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not, re I don't remember the size of them, um, but I feel like they were decently priced. Um, now if you're looking for something much cheaper, um, but that has that real touch feel, Hobby Lobby does have some as well, but these are a beautiful take and I loved the pot that they were planted in. Okay, so when I saw this vintage candle taper holder, I fell in love with it. However, I looked at the price and felt like that was a little pricey for something that I feel like I can find in a thrift store or an antique store. Um, I did come home with this candle snuffer. However, it's not my favorite and I'm almost regretting the purchase. It wasn't that much, but I really wanted like a more vintage looking one that was all metal. I almost came home with this set of three little mini trees here. They are the lifelike touch and they are beautiful at only $9.99. I thought that was a great price and I do wish I would have gotten them now, but that's okay. Um, they weren't an absolute need for my decor, so I put them back. Now I love seeing these candles in the windows during Christmas season. I always have and we used to have them growing up. This is definitely an elevated look to that. Um, however, they are $15 each. Now I also love this tree topper. It has a very vintage and simple style, but I feel like it could go with many different Christmas themes. And again, this year, the wood bead garlands are still popular. So this is a different pattern, but still made beautifully. Um, I do know the prices are very comparable to those on Amazon. So if you'd rather just have the Hearth and Hand brand, uh, definitely pick these up.
I was happy with the selection they had of ornaments this year. I really loved this glass sphere that um, you can actually put sentimental things inside. They also had different types of bell ornaments as well. Now, if you loved the stockings I showed you earlier with the red and green plaid, definitely pick up the tree skirt as well. Like I said before, these are beautifully and well made. Now, my mom and I both noticed this. This was a card holder. It is $24.99, so I felt like it was a little pricey, but it is a very stylish way to collect all of the cards that you will receive this Christmas season. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the lighting here and all of the shadows. They had some spotlights on this part here and it definitely wasn't video friendly. Um, so I'm just going to try to show you what they had on this stand here. Um, as you saw before, you saw the plaid stockings. They also had the green and white striped and then they also had these beautiful, almost vintage looking chunky knit stockings and they were priced at $14.99. They had the dark brown and they also had a beautiful cream color. Now there were a lot of candles in this section. However, these are the Christmas scents and it does look just like a sticker wrapped around this candle. However, it does have a texture to it, making it feel a little higher end. So this looks to me like a more modern version of these classic Christmas bells that you've probably seen all over Instagram um, and in YouTube videos. However, these are only $14.99 and I feel like they are beautiful. Now, I was disappointed in these picture frames. They were beautiful, but as soon as I started touching them, they felt very wobbly and I was afraid of breaking it, so I slid it right back in there. I thought this Bluetooth radio was unique. I feel like it can serve multiple purposes as far as looking great during the Christmas season with its vintage look. It can sit on your counters or your shelf, but then also play beautiful Christmas music from your phone. I was also happy with the selection of throw pillows and blankets. As you can see, very traditional colors, but made beautifully. Now I love the texture and the colors and the prints of these throws. I also love that they're not so big and chunky. Um, they can look beautifully draped over your bed or over your couches. Now it took me a while to find some of the prices of some of the pillows. FYI, if you're looking in the future, unzip the pillow and pull out the tag and you will most likely find the price there. And now on to all of the greenery that they had. These were in beautiful matte cream colored vases and they were the real touch. These specifically had pine cones and berries and then they do have some that are without.
Now they have these beautiful white berry artificial bundles. They are gorgeous. Um, I didn't have a specific place for them, but you could add these to mantle, to your tree, or even into gift tags. And another FYI, if you are shopping this collection online, I know sometimes it's hard to tell if there's a mixture of classic and lifelike stems. I believe everything in this line had lifelike stems. Now I believe I've seen this candle before, but every time I do, I just look at it. It's so beautiful. It does not have a specific Christmas scent to it, but I feel like it would go very well with any Christmas decor. And sorry about the autofocus, it's slowing down at the longer I go through this store. But like I said, candles, candles, and more candles. Hey guys, I'm not going to lie, I love all of this collection. Um, I'm so happy, I just keep going on and on. So I loved the glass texture of the previous candle and then the mercury glass of this one. Just beautiful. Now, if you're looking for candles that are less specific to Christmas and more of something that can go along with your Christmas decor, but sit out year round, this one and then this stoneware one will work wonderfully. Now they did have a couple of variations of these oversized trays. However, I felt like they were a little overpriced for what they are and the fact that you can find them in many home decor stores. And here are a couple of the wreaths that were inside the aisle. One of course with the red berries and pine cones, the other with just the pine cones. Um, since they are real touch and only $39.99, I felt like that was a decent um, price for them as that's very comparable to Kirkland's as well. So there was a very limited stem and pick selection for this collection. However, they were made beautifully and they were priced a little reasonable. Um, obviously more than Hobby Lobby. However, they were the lifelike touch, um, but they just had the red berries or just the simple pine cone. And I wish they would have had just a little bit more. I was happy to see more wreaths out here on the outside of the aisle. Um, also, a lot of these wreaths had matching garlands, but these also had some ribbon and bells in them, and then even some swags at the bottom. So I was happy that it all kind of went together very cohesively.
Now here are just a couple of items I just wanted to show you all that they had in the Christmas collection for the kitchen. So as you can see, a lot of linen feel textures along with the classic red, green, or red and green. I was so happy to find this beautiful muted green color. So I did get the hand towels and the dish towels. Now I have a collection of rolling pins and most of them are fall. I do have a gingerbread one and I wanted this one to come home with me, but instead my mom picked it up and I was very happy she got it. I was so excited to see these napkin rings. They are very lifelike and real touch. So I picked some up for my mom as I already had some. Now this section wasn't complete with them putting everything out, but I was so happy to see everything out here. This was not the Hearth and Hand collection, but I do know that these candles went viral last year and I didn't get one. So I definitely grabbed one for me and one for my mom and they are probably the best purchase I made for my Christmas decor thus far. Now I just wanted to show you all what else they had just for this little section. There was a worker there behind me trying to put other things out. So I was trying to get out of his way, um, but I was happy to see that they had this beautiful gold reindeer. Um, I feel like he would make a beautiful statement in any home. Um, but I wanted to tell you all, just thank you guys for watching my channel and keeping it going. Um, I hope you all enjoy these videos and I'm getting so excited about the Christmas decorating videos I have planned for this year. I hope you'll join along with me and if you don't want to miss them, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that it will notify you when I post them. Bye guys.